Hello. The subject of today's lesson is interaction of uh, an MVNO for billing and charging. So we have the MVNO that has some network elements here. The technical part has a number of subscribers. And the MVNO would need to send bills to the subscriber and receive money. So the MVNO will have here some business support system that takes care of billing. That sends bills to the subscribers. The subscriber will send money. The base for, for generating billing are information generated by the network elements. That could be, uh, let's say, uh, the SIP uh, SBCs or whatever application servers we have, the GMSC, um, the um, DGSN for data services, the SMSC, and whatever else can generate call detail records, which are then rated by the billing system and converted to money. And we have the limit here, we have the MVNO, and we have one or more MNOs here. We will also have some equipment and some business systems. The equipment can be something like uh, MSCs, can be SGSNs, and all these will could generate third-party CDRs. So use something like Camel here. And here we have a service control function that builds CDRs for, for services that potentially don't go through the home network at all. Besides that, the visitor network would also generate CDRs. And these CDRs are uh, here in a charging and billing system. And the mobile network operator will generate two kind of information that go here. First goes to something called the data clearing house, where the CDRs are going. And also we have the financial clearing house that generates interoperator bills. So we have your CDRs plus rates, so it's already rated to whatever the agreed rate per minute or per megabyte or whatever. And here we have the bills for a certain amount of money. And the MVNO in its own billing system will split all this, will pay the MNOs that have provided the radio access service, it will take money from the subscribers. Thank you.